So let's see how Congressman Andre Carson does. Please welcome the Congressman for the 7th District of Indiana, Andre Carson. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. To Amos Brown, Mayor Ballard, Representative Crawford, Brother Williams, Madam Kennedy, President Freeman, distinguished guests, Brother Ken Zeller, friends, it's an honor to be here, a true honor to be here, to celebrate the lives of two great, wonderful, and honorable men, Dr. Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy. Thank you. It's important that we're taking the time out to applaud the many outstanding achievements of these great men because they had an inspirational message of peace and brotherhood that helped propel America out of a dark segregationist past of Jim Crow into a more enlightened era of human rights. And because of their contributions, we are moving toward a brighter future. But as we move toward the brighter future, we have to be willing to walk in their shoes. We have to be able to walk in Robert Kennedy's shoes, in JFK's shoes, in King's shoes. What does it mean to walk in the shoes or in the pathway of great men such as these? It means that we have to, one, be servant leaders. It means that we have to be willing, as Dr. King, to be able to speak truth to power. And even as JFK and Bobby King did while in power, speaking truth to power. Very important. How do you speak truth to power? You ask great Socratic questions. You ask questions like, why is it that the wealthiest nation in the world doesn't provide its citizenry with universal health care, Brother Zeller? Why is it that the wealthiest nation in the world doesn't seek to put pressure on corporations who break up workers' attempts to unionize? Those are the kinds of key in questions that were asked. We talk about their contributions to an ugly past. We talk about their contributions for fighting against bigotry. And in order to walk in their shoes, we must fight against bigotry. I applaud the Kennedy family for this effort. I applaud you for talking about the kind of leader who is willing to unite people like Dr. King. And I think we'll see that in the next few months. We will see that. But to be that kind of leader, we have to fight against bigotry. Because bigotry is a disease. It's a multi-headed dragon. Bigotry is rooted in fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unfamiliar. But if we're going to band together, and I think we can, because we see multi-races and multi-faces, we have to band and take a stand against all kinds of bigotry. Gender bigotry, racial bigotry, religious bigotry. Bigotry is bigotry. Their actions motivated America's leading politicians to enact laws that enhance our civil rights protections and ensure that every citizen was given a fair and free right to vote. As our democracy continues to mature and serve the needs of our ever-expanding and diverse citizenry, it is important, friends, that we always remember their insightful teachings for all of America. Thank you and God bless. Since I'm told this is an even-numbered year divided by four, and we start